Yeah, I don't know, man. For me, this this fight, Wilder knocking out Brazil, just proves that him unifying with Joshua is going to be even more harder to make. You know what I mean? Oh, I knocked him out in one round. You took seven rounds. Therefore, I need 90-10. I'm worth $300 million. You know, you got paid $10 million to fight. Uh, the purses were actually released. So, uh, Wilder got paid $10 million to fight Brazil. Brazil got paid $1.2 million. So, when 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 Wilder was offered a three-fight deal from the zone, right? He had Brazil up front for $20 million. That's So, he, got, he was going to get paid $10 million more than what PBC and Al Heyman gave to Wilder. And then he was going to fight... Um, AJ twice at around 40 to 50 between 40 and 45 million dollars per fight because the the deal was actually 120 million dollars so but Wilder you know as you saw as you saw before well as I saw before I don't know if you guys saw it but Wilder mentioned about you know he he needs to pay he needs to get paid 100 million dollars off of one fight with Joshua not a multi-fight deal one fight he needs to get paid a hundred million dollars so you know it is what it is man I think this fight is going to be like really hard to make because uh, you know Wilder is going to continue to overprice himself um, and not make the fight happen again you know chasing challengers like Tyson Fury, who has no title. I don't forget the lineal title. Okay, guy, that guy wasn't the guy wasn't even ranked in the WBC. Fought two Uber uh, an Uber driver and a pump and a plumber. He fought an Uber driver and a plumber as tune-up fights, were basically sparring partners. Before fighting Wilder, went twelve rounds, went a draw, and you still want to rematch Tyson Fury, who has no belt. Let's. Your main focus needs to be unify, 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 unify. And he didn't show that last night when his post uh, his post fight interview. He didn't even really call out AJ. He was just by he's basically said the big fights are going to happen. Be patient. You wasn't direct. You had old ass Ortiz in the ring trying to rematch you. Um, I'm not inter- I'm not interested in seeing that fight. I don't care about Ortiz, Louis Ortiz. I don't care about OTs. He just struggled fighting Christian Hammer. Um, he's still taking blood pressure medication. Uh, I don't care about that fight. I don't care about that goddamn fight. Rematching uh, OTs and then Kawanaki next. I don't care about those fights, man. Your main focus, your main objective is to unify. Unify the belts. There needs to be an undisputed champion. Point blank and simple. And so I know that with this fight with with Brazil, him knocking him out in incredible dramatic fashion in one round, memes are everywhere as you can see here. Um, all these goddamn memes and shit. Um, so, I mean, it's terrible. It's terrible. The guy was tailor made. Al Heyman is a, is a matchmaker, man. He he knows how to, um, he knows how to make sure that his that his fighters are matched up with the styles that they need to look bad to look good. So he matched up Dominique Brazil, who's a PBC fighter, with Deontay Wilder. Knew that Brazil was tailor made for Wilder. And he got knocked out in dramatic fashion in the first round. You know, I, I thought it would last at least a couple more rounds, maybe three or four. And I still gave the edge to, uh, it was like this. I predicted that Wilder was going to win, but not that fast. I predicted that Wilder was going to get, you know, get the stoppage. Um, I was hoping that Brazil would do some things to make him competitive. But, you know, all what he learned with um, Virgil Hunter, and defensive tactics and things that you need to improve on went out the window because he let it's usually emotional fighters usually Deontay Wilder no it was um it was it was Brazil and you saw it you saw it um when they didn't touch gloves when 
Brazil refused to touch gloves with Wilder. He was emotional. So he fought reckless. Everything that Virgil Hunter taught you in 10 weeks went out the window. And that's why he got clipped so early. And that's why all the shit he was talking about, I'm going to retire Wilder. No, he's going to retire now. Now you're going to be a glorified sparring partner for Wilder and anybody else who, who, who you know, who's coming up in the rankings. He's going to be a sparring partner um, and he's going to retire from boxing. So Brazil is done. And um, <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to make this video, man, just, just to share my thoughts about, you know, I, I think this fight between um, AJ and Wilder is going to be extremely hard and if not, never going to happen. Um, until, I don't know, until Wilder decides to vacate the title and go into acting professionally. I don't know. Um, but he thinks he's worth $300 million. You know what I mean? The zone, nobody, nobody, nobody else is going to offer this guy $300, $200 million, let alone $100 million for one fight with Joshua. That's not going to happen, so... It is what it is, family. This is my quick thoughts about the, the post-fight interview and the post and the fight itself with uh, Wilder and Brazil. Let me know your comments down below in this comment section, family. Until next time, Chauncey signing out. Peace.